Hey, what's good, Learning Machines? This is a quick update. Um, this is how much I've made for this month so far. Today is December 3rd, and so far this month I have made 2000 almost $3,000 right here. Today we are going to hopefully hit one, oh, like what we made yesterday. If I don't, then I'm unprofitable, so that would suck. Actually, I'm already profitable by like 200 right here. Spent 300 so far, and uh, this is a new campaign I'm launching right here. And uh, everything's going well, but in this video, I am going to share with you basically a secret funnel strategy leveraging just doing the survey landing page and promoting one offer at a time. I don't do this. What I do is I basically have an opt-in form. This is with sweepstake offers I'm talking about. I have an opt-in form that replicates a CPA offer, and I promote more offers in the back end in email follow-ups. Okay, but this strategy is a unique one. I know a lot of you guys like it and you want to learn more about it. And so I will share in this video how to do it. And um, any strategy works at the end of the day. And um, it's all about traffic. You have a system set up, you drive traffic to it. End of story. Now there are better ways to pull that off. And this way is a very interesting way. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. And let's do this, baby. Let's make some freaking money with CPA marketing. Okay, guys, here we are at Max Bounty. First, you got to pick an offer. Okay, so you do your search based off what traffic source you're doing. Does it allow social? Does it not? We're picking sweepstakes here. We got to find a sweepstake that actually has a high. EPC, it's proven to work. You got to promote something as your front end offer that is proven to work. And if you want, you can set up these funnels, a lot of them, and a lot of ads, and freaking just split test like crazy. Um, a ton of different campaigns all at once. And um, it can really like confuse you, I'm sure. And uh, you have a lot of campaigns running, but whatever. So here's a Victoria's Secret gift card offer here. Pays out $2 per lead. It allows email traffic and social traffic. Okay, which is good for my one strategy that I was telling you earlier, which is all I do really. And um, we're going to pick this offer. And um, all you have to do, you just get the link. And now you go over here. Okay, no callback needed. Text URL. And, okay. What do you think? Okay, so you just get your link. And then you're going to put at the end of the survey here. We're going to use ClickFunnels. You could use BuilderAll, but ClickFunnels has a good survey set up here. And you'll see that. All right, now let's edit it up here. So we click the editor. We got all the background stuff. Name the site. Get the domain working. All it is, it's just basically a survey, okay? And you can select inside ClickFunnels a survey thing, okay? And make sure it's mobile friendly and everything like that, very important. And you know the power of doing a survey, which is why so many people do it, is because of the bias, um, which is micro-commitment bias, essentially like, um, what's it called? Commitment consistency bias, okay? So when someone says yes a lot to something or goes through micro-commitments essentially, they're more likely to convert on the offer that's presented to them later. With my strategy, I talked about how I do um, uh, opt-in on my own in the front end. Well, guess what? That's a micro-commitment right there. And I get an email address. That's why it's better. But anyway, we're doing this. We're setting up the pages here. Okay. Um, very important. Okay. It's important to have your privacy policy, your terms of service, your contact us. Otherwise, Facebook and any traffic platform for any reason for that reason they're not gonna like that okay if you don't have that so you gotta have it doesn't matter what it is okay now your questions here um, doesn't matter what the questions are in fact you can leverage authority bias here you can say where how did you hear about us did you hear about us from like dr. Oz for example if doing a health offer like did you hear about us from dr. Oz um, but you can just say okay where did you hear from us from um, and where are you from? Things like that. Okay, what's your gender? Um, just get them answering questions. I recommend just three, but you can do as many as you want. The more they do, the more hot of a lead they'll become due to micro commitments. And the CPA network you're working with, they're going to like you more because 
you're pushing traffic that's actually converting. Okay, high EPCs for their network, and they like that. But at the end of the day, it's your money, your choice. You can choose to do this strategy, and um, it's just a strategy I know you guys are interested about, and that's why I'm going to commentary about this. This is Colin's video, okay, if you know who Colin Dice is. I'm, comment, I'm kind of doing a commentary video over this strategy, just adding my ideas to this video here. Okay, and uh, I hope this is bringing a lot of value to you because I'm sharing with you the truth because you guys could get banned doing this on Facebook. All right, um, I know he turns and burns through tons of Facebook ad accounts. It's insane. He probably has hundreds. I've never been banned from Facebook, and I've spent over $60,000 at this point on Facebook ads, building massive email lists in the health niche and in the sweepstake niche. And I can tell you right now, my strategy actually works because I haven't been banned, and I'm making lots of profit per email I'm getting for myself. Okay, but anyways, here's what he's doing. And uh, also, in the beginning, I showed you guys my income and everything for today, which so far is at like 600 Okay, for the day, the day's not over yet. And my strategy is not doing surveys. I just wanted to talk about this strategy with you guys. Okay, so here you're doing the Victoria offer. That's why we're looking at all this. That's why he's doing that. And um, basically you find images that are going to pattern interrupt people. Okay, any image you find that will pattern, pattern interrupt people and then get them to read your copy. Okay, which is basically a persuasion. The words that persuade people to click the ad and go through and then go through the survey or do whatever you want them to do in marketing and uh, then you know convert okay so here we're just selecting a bunch of images that's what Colin's doing right here and as you can see he's also grabbing Victoria's Secret and you just gotta like brainstorm you gotta think outside the box here okay and don't overthink it because what you think will work sometimes doesn't work. It's the stuff that you um, don't think will work sometimes that works. It's very weird, okay? People don't like professional, okay? Look at YouTube, for example, and the biggest sites in the world, and uh, most of the creators on it are unprofessional. They're just, you know, making content about whatever. So, very important to understand that. Anyways, this is how you do it. You just, and he's doing the um, Instagram swipe ups, which, once again, um, it's not a good idea to think so black and white, okay? There's a million ways to drive traffic, and if you think the only way you can get traffic in CPA marketing promoting sweepstakes is Instagram swipe ups, you're wrong, okay? You're very wrong about that. And there is tons of different methods you can use, all right? You need to understand that. So he's basically setting up here just one ad out of many he's probably going to split test, I recommend you have at least five ads you split test between, okay? And I will link to his channel, of course. He'll give you some good advice, all right? But um, what he's doing, he's just wanting to split test a bunch of different ads, find which one works. He's trying to make the best margins he possibly can, but at the end of the day, he's dealing with very small margins, and he has a big team, a big, big budget, and you guys don't. That's why my strategy works for you guys. You're literally collecting your own email list and you're promoting sweepstake offers that allow email traffic and you can just kill it, bro. If you want my sweepstake course, you can learn the actual secrets, the crazy stuff. Like, based off what I said, you could go out there and just fail, okay? And I am sharing you, like, the idea of it all. And you can go out there and, like, attempt at it and try your best. But at the end of the day, $300 on for my course, very minimal investment. And at the end of the day, I want to network with you guys, people that are actually willing to invest. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a, a, a little payment wall that um, qualifies you guys for someone that I want to network with and do business with in the future. The kind of people that, you know, the whole reason I'm doing this stuff. This is another income source for me at the end of the day. I want to network with you guys. Okay. But here we are. Swipe up and win $500 gift card. Okay. And never say free if you can help it. Never say free on your ads. Very important to understand that. Unless you really are giving something free and it's your own thing. And then you redirect to sweepstake offers after that. You can do that. But um, here he is on Facebook ads, okay? And he's going to show you how he does it. And this is an older video. And my strategy is basically do um, CBO campaigns. Okay, with the objective 
of conversions, not traffic or engagement or video views, like all these other videos and gurus are teaching, you gotta go for conversions because at the end of the day, Facebook has a pixel and any uh, traffic source that allows a pixel, you better go with that. You better go with that. Um, super powerful, the AI is insane. And they just literally print to you, essentially like money. Um, they print you leads, they print you sales, just like on autopilot, it's insane. If you do the conversion objective. And you're gonna be spending more money to get traffic, okay? That's why I don't really like his strategy. I'm just sharing you what I would do. If you're gonna go the route of um, doing the survey before the offers, you're going to deal with very slim margins because whoever can invest the most to acquire conversions wins. You can acquire a lot of conversions if you collect the email on the front end or do your own offer on the front end, then you can break even and then you can promote more offers to them, okay? You own that traffic. You can promote more offers to them and you make a lot of money, okay? And uh, as you've seen, okay, and I will be scaling like crazy um, in the near future and I hope to reach like 10,000 a day or more. That's my goal with um, CPA marketing and affiliate marketing, combining the two of them. And one of the best ways to do that, there's several secrets I have for you here, but having your own products on the front end and breaking even like crazy, pushing them to offers is just the most powerful thing you can do. Okay, Facebook will never ban you for that if you have your own offers or your own opt-in on the front end. And um, anyways, you can watch this video and see what he's doing here. And he's given a lot of good advice throughout of it. Throughout it, you could check it out on his channel and see what he says about all this stuff. Um, I'm just adding my commentary. This is not copyright. It's actually fair use. It's one of the secrets of YouTube how you can basically get around copyright. And um, basically, you're allowed to do this stuff. You're allowed to commentary. So um, he's doing a daily budget. I don't think he selected um, a CBO campaign. If you're gonna go with the with the engagement or the video view or the traffic strategy, you should definitely go with a CBO campaign now because they're gonna be switching to CBO if they already have, basically they have already. And that's what I've been doing. I haven't even checked if they switched. I've just been doing CB, CBO campaign for like a long time now. And uh, anyways, I don't really recommend you even do a video. It takes more work for you. You can get similar results with just doing an image, okay? At the end of the day, the creative is just about grabbing the attention. Okay, and that's what I'm sure he talks about in this video. He wants to grab people's attention, but he's also trying to get them to click at the same time. But from a marketer's standpoint, you need to know what things, and use all the details of the whole ad that you can. The freaking profile image, the name of your freaking fan page, and all sorts of things. Okay, very important to understand that. But um, you just want to get clicks. Okay, at the end of the day, it's a hook. Then you bring people in and get conversions. And that's all it is. Okay, it's paid traffic, most powerful thing ever. And um, anyways, I hope all this helped you guys. You guys can check out the stuff in the description, check out more videos, check out Colin's channel. And um, anyways, you have a good day. And uh, get a coaching call with me if you want and get the accelerator course and get all the courses you can afford currently because I can tell you right now, your life can change. I've combined all the information from all the courses that you can imagine. Any guy you've ever learned from, I decided to purchase all their courses, buy them all, learn from all of them, and it actually benefited me a lot. And it'll benefit you because now you have all the courses in one place for not $1,000 each, but for $300 each. So anyways, you guys can check that out. I appreciate you guys. And um, stay motivated, stay hungry, keep hustling, and uh, never give up. Okay, so peace out.